All right, so I got to thinking with the last video. I'm gonna try, I've got a little bit of this with blending solution mixed up already. I don't have any blending solution. So we're gonna try and see if these colors behave a little differently over top of some areas of white. So let's get set up. Howdy, howdy, y'all. This is Clara Lawrence, and nothing better than having a thought or an idea. Now, I have no blending solution in the house, still waiting for it, but I do have this bottle that's already made up that has some of the pinata white in there and some blending solution. So, just for sake of experiments, what we're going to do is we're going to use the same glossy paper, and I'm going to create some areas in here by only using this and then um, apply some colors, some of these colors over top of it and see how they behave. I'm gonna try also to do a lot less of these two guys here because they seem to be very intense on the black. So yeah, let's see if that works out a little better. All right, here we go. Now remember, I normally would put in a lot of blending solution or alcohol, depending on what color I'm using. And then, so create a little island of, add the color in the middle, and then work with it so that way the color has plenty of area to move around in. And I have that ability to get the nice fluffy edges. But because I'm using it straight in the bottle uh, with blending solution already in there, I'm going to go ahead and get edges. But you know what? Hang on, let me... I want to go fetch something to give you an example of what I'm talking about. So if I were to create like a little island of blending solution, add my ink to it, move it around within the island, I could get these nice little soft edges. But since that's not the case, what's probably going to happen is I'm going to get areas like this. So I'm going to create several areas like that and then let it dry and then apply colors on top of it because the colors will definitely work on top, but I don't know what the foundry, or uh, not foundry, sorry, the um, alloy colors are gonna do. So, that's where the experimentation comes into play. And I guess the silly voices too. Okay, so make a little island here.
almost there. And normally um, I could add some blending solution and get rid of the little fingers part, but since I don't have it, I thought I'd add some fingers over here so it becomes intentional design. All right, let's see. Does this stuff look like it's nice and dry? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down some alcohol on top of this, add some of the turquoise, the two different colors of turquoises that I have, and then only a couple of drops of the alloy. So basically the turquoise should light up with the white behind it. And there, okay. All right, here we go. And why I use a couple different tones is it always creates a little bit more of a depth or a richer color. Something more interesting than just straight one color. Alright, All right, we're going to do one, two, Hopefully that is plenty. So what I wanted to do is to wash the color so I can get some soft blends going off. Um, and then I'm gonna apply some colors directly, specifically. So more calculated, I guess you could say. All right, and I'm gonna bounce back and forth between the lighter and the darker turquoise. So I'm using uh, pool and stream are my colors.
that you saw there tonight, after I hit it, it went shoosh like that, and it kind of blew the tip, the color out that way, and clearly that wasn't <laughs> planned. So I just kind of went with it, pulled the color back in like I could, go ahead and dry it up, and that way I can apply more if I want to, or even apply alcohol here and push the ink back. So I have a tendency to kind of just go with it when there's a mistake with alcohol inks. Like, stream bottles a lot thicker. Harder to squeeze out with one little drop. That stream is really pretty. Now I'm just gonna finesse my colors a little bit. Things that I might not be crazy about, tweak it out. I didn't do a whole lot. A lot of times it's blending one color to another one. So it makes a little bit more sense. So they're interacting a bit more. Not a masterpiece, but fun playtime to learn a lot. Okay, so this is a little bit more of a desirable piece. You definitely have a focus or a feature point in the middle or however you want your feature point to be. And you got a nice little fade out with the, the foundry and stuff and a little bit of color bits here. So a little bit more potential with having the white back there. So yeah. Now granted, I didn't really work this piece as far as I really I would have normally, but it's got some potential. So yeah, I would recommend putting the white, but that's just me when when doing the background black background. In fact, let me even change that up a little bit. Um, if I were to start this piece over with, what I would probably do is, yes, wait for my blending solution and get some nice fade outs in here going on and then start layering up my colors on top of that because I'm not really liking just having circular design, so that's, that's kind of bugging me. 
but I do like having the light area where I can build the color and fade out. So, yeah. All right. I will put the links in the description of the colors and the paper and all the supplies and stuff like that if you're interested. Later. All right, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified. Next time I put a video up, there you go.